have for you. Those are shoes, tiny weeny shoes, as my dad used to say to me gently. Those were my very first shoes. They carried me and I decided where we would go. I would choose the direction. And back then it would always be running towards the ball or running after the ball. Football is great, but there were too many players for my taste. I liked to play on my own. The first time I felt a crumb of some kind in my shoe was on my way to the music school. It was my first encounter with the invisible pebble. Whenever something put me off course, the pebble was there to help. Like when I was at my first concert and I was looking at Sylvia rather than at the notes, my invisible pebble helped me to concentrate. That evening I met Stella for the first time. The very thought of her made me feel as if I was where I wanted to be. I could become anybody and anything. I could save the world. And I did it in secret. When I took the most unusual paths, the invisible pebble kept me upright and encouraged my spirit. But the time came when it was no longer cool to wear shoes. Then I became what I least wanted to be. I became a number. The pebble in my boot would only calm down when I started thinking about what I liked and what was important. I like browsing through photo albums. Wedding photos melt my heart and make me laugh heartily when I remember how my new sweet life began. I suddenly realized that common garden dwarves can also make good company. They are great, interesting and can be good friends but I increasingly started talking to myself. You must be wondering what happened to that invisible pebble. There it is, in the old and comfy shoes. And what would Mr. Shoe Pebble be doing in the slippers anyway? He despises them. Today I am back in the city again after many days at home. 
I enjoy walking, and my invisible pebble sits still in my shoe. I bought the first pair of shoes for my grandson, Paul. I usually don't like baby talk, but this time I couldn't stop myself. Look what I have for you! Those are shoes! Tiny, weeny shoes! And your pebble will come to you in its own time.